I know for a fact that when you look at the lead singer of this particular group called The Hard Kiss from Ukraine, you're going to know whom she is. She came to my attention like millions of other people around the world in the 2023 Eurovision Song Contest as one of the presenters. And I'm going to give you a little bit of bio about the woman herself. I have to say to the three presenters of Eurovision, there were Alicia Dixon and British actress Hannah Waddington. And I have to say, Hannah, you stood out. You really were a breath of fresh air for Eurovision. Big, tall, blonde, laughing and joking. And there was wonderful interaction in Liverpool, hosting it on behalf of Ukraine with the Ukraine presenter, Julia Sanina, who is singing in this video because she's the lead singer of this group. Her and her husband uh, formed this group, believe it or not, in 2011. But again, congratulations, Julia, on a wonder, wonderful presentation of the Eurovision. The three of you, the camaraderie, everything, it just made it so refreshing to watch. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Now back to you. The Hard Kiss are a group that's a Ukrainian rock band formed, like I said, in 2011, consisting of Hulia Sanana, Valad uh, Valerie Bebko, Klim, and Yevon. And they participated in the Eurocrate. Euro Euro I'm sorry today, I think I need more coffee, but I'll take a bit afterwards. The Ukrainian National Selection for Eurovision Song Contest in 2016, which makes sense as to why Julia understood what the participants were going through and the nervousness that's involved with even running up to try and be selected for your country. Now, they weren't selected with the song Helpless. It was second placed in the national final. But to date, the Harkis has released four studio albums, one EP, one live album, and numerous singles. It was formed by the husband and wife duo, Julia herself, and Valerie Bebko, who plays guitar. And they opened the English synth pop duo Hertz in Kiev in 20th of October, which is when they came to prominence. And they also opened up for Beyonce's sister, Solange Knowles, also in Kiev. In 2012, Hard Kiss were nominated for the MTV European Music Award for Best Ukrainian Act. And the same year, the band performed at the Midem Festival on the 29th of January. They've won two awards at UNA, Best Rock Band and Best Song in Ukraine. And all I can say for this particular band is welcome to my channel. I am going to, like I've said repeatedly in a lot of videos, be featuring you a lot because I think, Yulia, in honor of your country, in honor of what you've gone through, but in honor of the music that you make, I have to feature you. You really shone like a bright star in the Eurovision. And for me, I know I'm going to enjoy this. First time I've seen Festival, the music video premiere you're about to see from this band. And I'm looking forward to it because I just think you your English was perfect. It's in English, it's got subtitles in English, but it comes also in over 32 languages, which I translate for my worldwide audience here on CC Europop Music. Now, to find a band like this is great because we need a bit more rock element in, on my channel. And this is the perfect balance. I say this from the heart. Welcome. I say this that we're going to enjoy this, I know. And it's a heartfelt song. I'll analyze the lyrics, as always, straight after. Let's enjoy. Turn this 
that's your introduction to the presenter of 2023's Eurovision Festival from the Ukraine, Julia. I have to say, you're fronting the hard kiss, and I want to send out mwah, big kisses to you for your presentation skills, but also for your vocal skills as well. I love that, I have to say. I can only say one thing. Ukraine's going through a lot, and the musicians are suffering a lot. We all know that. The people, the situation, all of it. But that doesn't make me love a band because they come from Ukraine. I have been featuring Anuka from Ukraine for an exceptionally long time on my channel and other artists as well. So please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Come on. All my videos, all the artists are waiting for you from Ukraine as well to listen to them. And my translations are in Ukraine and over 32 languages just like this particular video let's get straight now to the lyrics I have to say what an incredible voice you have you have a huskiness about it and not since even since have I sat back and went wow wow so it's nice to have a wow factor on my channel well it's nice to have any factor <laughs> on any channel but especially mine so we go through to now the original video and we go down to what the song's about before I give you my interpretation. I think that's important, everybody. Julia says in the video itself, the song is about a miracle, about magical heavenly forces that turn explosions into fireworks, bullets into rain and pain into songs. We all want to live in a world without war, aggressors or occupiers and feel this world as a huge joyful festival. But unfortunately, these are only dreams far from reality, she says. The band releases the festival single in English and it does it right before the Eurovision Song Contest. This year, Great Britain hosted the competition on behalf of Ukraine and Julia fronted the song contest on three live shows. With this song, we want to remind the world, she continues, once again about the war started by Russia against our country. While the world was welcoming the new year 2023 with fireworks, Ukrainians were hiding in bomb shelters due to the massive missile attack. But we perfectly remember, she continues, the carefree spirit of holidays and festivals that took place in Kiev and, our, and other cities. We remember the time when fireworks, special effects, did not remind us of explosions. We showed Kiev during the war in the music video, my hometown, which continues to live despite everything, to live and wait for the most important holiday, the victory. They're poignant words. Now I do feature Russian artists on my channel and especially a person I've nurtured and grown with for over several years, Diana Ankinchanova, whom I refer to as the princess of pop, but now she's a mature young lady and she's grown into herself musically. And I do say to people and people from Ukraine, it's a non-political channel. So don't be offended if you do discover Russian artists on my channel. And equally, I will always continue to support Ukraine and read out statements that Julia has made about the song itself. It's important we differentiate and separate our political beliefs sometimes from the musical world. But just like this song, sometimes it incorporates a message that needs to be told in music. I am neutral for many, many reasons as a music reactor to artists coming onto my channel from anywhere around the world. I'm not like the major record labels that block these artists because I don't believe everybody wanted this war on the Russian side. And I don't believe that everybody, because they don't have social media, it's all closed down in Russia and they are suffocating and they have food chains where they have to wait for food as well. People suffer, both sides. That's all I want to say. 
And as far as I'm concerned, I'm about the music. And I welcome the hard kiss to my channel. It's a poignant song. It's heartfelt. And I want to go through the lyrics as well. Because she said, you've been telling for so long that I need to be stronger. Every day I knock out, I knock out the doors just to stand a bit longer. To reach the light, but through this fight, can I wonder, can I wonder? So straight away she opens it up to wondering about, will there be light at the end of this dark tunnel? And I think it's very symbolic when she starts walking and we hear her footsteps coming through a tunnel. Most people hide in tunnels. They've been hiding in places to avoid the bombing and the continuous war and the effects of the shelling that happens on cities in war situations. And she says, and she asks a poignant question, can I wonder? And she wonders about getting the freedom back, recovering and seeing light. And light for the Ukrainian people is victory. I can't answer that as a music reactor, but I can only wish there's a stop to the war on both sides. Bombshells into fireworks, she says, bullets into raindrops are pain into my songs. I want to feel this world as a festival. And she feels she wants to celebrate Christmas as Christmas, Easter as Easter, summer as summer, and have the people out in festivals dancing, people romancing, people enjoying, and normality. Of course she does. We all want it. We all desire it. Freedom is something we take for granted. I've always said that. But it's something that this war, that's a dark cloud over the whole world, as countries get dragged into it, then turn their backs, one step back, and we hear all the propaganda, because we constantly hear propaganda, propaganda. Only the people who are the recipient of the shelling can give us stories like what has been sung in this song and give us the truth. It's continuing, but they don't give up hope. I have a, a Nanuka song I'm going to attach to this, also singing about the war, also singing about peace and freedom. And there was a very important line, like there is here, and I'm going to read out, I'm going to give you the two lines. In the Nuka song, it said, the shelling may have, have happened, but it, and the holes in the roofs where the shells had come through the buildings opened up to light up the sky. In other words, the stars and uh, almost that feeling of non-separation between God and themselves. That's very poignant. And I keep using that word because it's a strong word to use in a song like this, Ananukas. And here it says, this, this story goes round and round, together we're lost and found in the middle of a storm. That's extremely powerful words of what's happening. They don't see sunshine, they see dark gray skies. They don't, and when it, when it rains, it's like symbolic of the tears that have, for the lost ones, for the loved ones, for the ones that have died in this war, the ones that are sacrificing themselves mentally, physically, for freedom. Something, as I said, we, we take for granted for, but no longer do I take it. I've looked at this situation and I have counted my blessings. I was one of those people that wanted to live abroad, uh, near the sea. I wanted all of these things. I had dreams, had aspirations. But do you know what I am thankful for now? My existence in this apartment. My existence where I only hear drilling. You might overhear it on this video from people working on buildings because Dublin's on an expansion program. We have welcomed 250,000 Ukrainian people into our country. It's caused a lot of upset because it's a financial strain on the country. We're a very small country, just like Ukraine. But at the same time, we have an affinity going back into history. Because people don't believe that when I tell them, Ukraine during the famine in Ireland also housed thousands of Irish people that went to their country. 
and fed and looked after them. And it's a piece of history we don't learn at school. But it continues, oh my God, hear me tonight and turn these bombshells into fireworks, bullets into raindrops, our pain into my songs. Well, you certainly have, Julia. I want, and I'm emotional reading it, I want to feel this world is a festival and that's what the world wants as well. Our prayers have to be answered, Julia, and I keep saying this from the heart, and I believe they will, sooner than later. But it's a recovery process, and I think thousands of Ukraine people will leave Ireland, go back, lots of people, and they will build their country again to be stronger, better, and if possible, even more beautiful than ever before. That I do believe. And it says, bombshells into fireworks bullets into rains it repeats bullets into raindrops are pain in my songs i want to feel this we want to feel the world as a festival we all do and from the bottom of my heart i wish it i pray for it and i hope for it but in the meantime on my channel the hard kiss i send you a kiss and thank you for a poignant song that touched me and i'm sure it will touch everybody else that listens to it also take care for now